Hello, it's Mr. Bald again. Just wanted to talk about another pair of shoes I have in my collection. And that would be my boots. Can you guess what brand these are? Take a quick guess. These are the Dr. Scholl's Gel. I bet you didn't think he made a shoe, right? Had no clue Dr. Scholl's made a shoe. I don't know, I'm just guessing. I didn't before I bought these. Well, the other pair anyway. And it has a gel center right there. It feels good. These are some comfortable shoes considering that they're boots, low cut boots. These actually feel really nice. That is real stitching down there by the way. But yeah, these are nice shoes. So nice, I have two pairs. I actually scuffed these up a little bit, but since I shined them and uh, put the shoe polish on them, you know, you can't really tell. That's why I bought a second pair because I damaged the first pair so much. But just wanted to talk about a boot that has, it's really thick and solid at the toe. If you drop something on that, it's not gonna smash easy, but these are not steel toe, so they are lighter. These are about a pound. They feel like about a pound. And I like these shoes. I like to wear them with my black bigger pants versus the, the slimmer pants. I like the bigger pants with these, and um, they don't have to be black, I guess bigger jeans too. But yeah, these are the shoes that I picked up about three years ago. But about six years ago, I picked up the first pair. Here they are. These are the same shoes. Dr. Scholl's, I love them so much, I picked up another pair. These are my work boots around the house when I do odd and end jobs on the weekend. You see that toe though? A little bit more, a little bit shorter and a little bit more curved off, but it still has a, a thick solid point right there. But they're soft, they're worn in, they're not like the other ones. Those have a thicker and taller toe, but they're the same shoe. The bottoms are a little bit different. Oh, what, what do we have there? The Coca-Cola cap that's falling out of the shoes. Jeez, what else is in there? Can I, come on, 10 grand. No, I guess that's not gonna happen. So anyway, so here's the original pair. I do a lot of painting in and mowing and I scrape them on the ground when I'm on my knees. It doesn't matter if I'm digging in the concrete or digging up stuff out of the backyard. There's a lot of buried treasure back there. <laughs> but no, anyway, if I'm on the ground doing something, I have no problem putting these on the concrete because these are my work shoes. Here's the other pair. So I've had these for many years. They've held up. So like I said, I decided to get another pair because I like to wear them out and have them look nice too. So these are the nicer pair. These are the shoes I wore out. You know, I was at my brother's house one time and um, the reason I have, let me see if I can find them with a the naked eye. They yeah, have a small scuff right there. I don't know if you can see that. And let's see. There it is. Scuff right there. You see that? See how it's shiny right there? You see that bald spot? I need to touch it up with some polish and stuff. Oh, there's some scrapes right there too. You can see those. Standing up tall to the naked eye, you can't really see them, but I can when you put them up close. So I was playing basketball at my brother's house one time. Wanted to jump in the game, shoot some balls, move. I, I did a little bit too much. I did a crossover move, or no, no, I'm sorry. My brother did a crossover move, and I tried to catch up, and I didn't, so I fell to one knee and scratched him up. There you have it, don't play shoes. Well, don't play basketball in shoes like these. Anyway, thanks for watching the vid. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.